So, I'm of the opinion that uh, you can't just dress up to be the next James Bond. But I seem to think that Cherry has really done something different here with the motor. Come take a look with me. This is the Moda C5. This is Cherry's premium brand. And immediately when I get inside, what I have to say is, it looks elegant. This is also the elegant model. It's the Elegance S. The ones with all the bells and whistles, wireless charging, two 10 inch screens in front of you, and an array of buttons just popping out from the steering wheel. Immediately, without noticing the screens, you are greeted with uh, an array of disco lights that of course pulse to the music. Everything has this nice soft touch, black brushed plastic with uh, capacitive buttons to be able to turn the aircon on and off. And I'm not sure if it's a gimmick, but there's another feature as well. Let me just start with the car and show you. Hello, Amoda. What's up? Close the sunroof. Closing the sunroof. Hello, Amoda. What's up? Open the tailgate. Got it. Opening the lift gate. What I can mention is, is that your driver's seats, they feel nice and slug. These seats also come with air cooling. I will say, I've even spoken to a few people about this car. And when they get in here, take a look at it. The first thing that they ask me is, what does it cost? And when I give them the price of it, they're quite surprised for what you get within this vehicle. So I will have to mention that, look, I had my reservations about Cherry because in my previous experiences about the brand, mm, they came in, of course, at a very lower price and they built, were built cheap. But with this car is concerned, it doesn't feel like it's cheaply put together at all. I don't think the car is pretending to be anything that it's not because as I already mentioned, Everything seems very well put together. In the category that this car is in, it's a lot of bang for buck. I just saw a post the other day that says there's 190 features in this car. 190? I don't even think in the first month or two you will get through all of those things. So you're probably wondering, dimension-wise, how comfortable do you feel inside here? Look, I'm 1.85. I can say that my head just touches the top of the roof. So it does feel a little bit more compact on the passenger side. The driver side, of course, has height adjustable seat. So I feel a little bit more at home over there, but I'm sure most people are not my height. And if they're not my height, you're gonna feel quite at home and comfortable sitting in the motor. So this one, you will notice that it still has the banding of Cherry on the steering wheel. For the newer models that are coming out, that is gonna be changing. So everything, the styling, the naming is going to be echoed directly through the vehicle. Let's go see what the back holds. Woo! The back of the Amoda. My knees are touching here though. So the seat can go a little bit forward, but as you can see, the seat is quite cushiony. So it allows for uh, a bit more comfort. Space-wise, if it's not me at the back over here, I can sit comfortably. I don't think that there's a problem with me sitting at the back in the seat, but um, I would maybe say that uh, four adults no problem at all um, at the back there's a charging port there are vents over here at the back to keep you nice and cool and at least in this model with the sunroof it allows the back occupants at least to have something to look at um, I'm not sure if they're gonna be watching any movies on that big screen in front and then the other thing that's nice as well I do see that the branded speakers in this car Sony so the sound system sounds quite good so uh, if you feel like rocking up then uh, this is probably a nice car to do it in as well. So boot space in the motor. I don't think you're gonna fit the person in here. But if it's you, family, and you pack quite light, a weekend away is not gonna be a problem. Dimensions of the boot, shown up right over here. Oh yeah. And it also has a 12 volt port. So uh, if you do have a small cooler box, you can fit it in here. This, of course, is the parcel tray, which is removable. Nice and easy. 
So if you need that extra bit of space to chuck down the seats and throw some things on the inside, you shouldn't have any issue with that as well. And uh, what more can I say? Some extra storage down at the bottom over here and a uh, tiny little wheel that you cannot drive more than uh, 80 kilometers per hour. Boots are not really that exciting in this day and age. 2,000 rands worth of groceries probably going to fill up this half of the boot. And that's essentially probably what you're going to get. But if you want to see me climb into here, there's no handles. But let's see. Oh, there's a button that I can press. It's a little bit of tight squeeze. So you're not going to be adding a six person inside the car this way. So I'm going to get changed out of this and then we're going to go on a drive. So what is it like to drive a, a motor C5? It's quiet inside though. It could be that new car build. So I'm sure with time that the, the car will come into its own. But steering, it's, it feels very electronic. It doesn't feel like it gives you a lot of crazy feedback on uh, the road. Um, it's not a bad thing, if I can put it that way, because uh, if you turn, it turns. If you want to turn, it turns. You do what you need to do. Um, this is, of course, in eco mode. So your throttle response is a little bit slower than normal, but it has got a bit of go if you do put your foot down and you need to go. The gearbox is quite responsive from what I can hear. I'll probably correct it over here. Um, it does sound like a CVT box. So of course you will hear that the gears will drag out a little bit longer instead of being more instant like a um, dual clutch box. Indicator sound, not sure if you can hear. Sounds like a nice audio, soft, subtle noise. That noise actually goes, or it, it goes along with everything else in the car is a little bit different um, from your usual indicator stalk noise. Familiarizing yourself with everything, of course, prior to driving does help you a lot. Um, steering wheel is filled with things from volume control to your cruise control settings to your adaptive cruise control settings for how far it needs to keep away from the front car. And then, of course, your lane departure assist is also over here. So the steering wheel is height adjustable and reach adjustable. All those creature comforts are there. Height adjustable seat. As you can see, I got a little bit more leg headroom um, on the driver's side because I could lower the seat. Um, nothing feels uncomfortable in the way that you're sitting. And it shouldn't feel that way when you're driving a car. You should feel quite comfortable. You should feel, if I may say, at home. Not really reclined in a reclinable seat but uh, you should feel nice and comfortable and your visibility should be good so the motor ticks those boxes um, some of the things in the car does make you a little bit lazy things such as your blind spot assist such as your adaptive cruise control um, your lane keeping assist um, but those features you can either decide if you want to leave them on or you want to turn them off completely. So you have that choice, especially in the Elegance S model, where all those uh, features are a standard. So it doesn't feel exhausting driving this car in any way. Um, so that I can put as a big plus. Overtaking with this uh, 1.5 liter turbo engine is enough to get you going for such a size of car. Uh, it's no race car in any way and uh, the fact that your gear lever just looks like a, a mouse pad or something in an aircraft to be able to take off you tend to just set it in one setting and leave it there while you're driving that however is one thing to get used to so if i can say the heads up display in front it's very quick to identify lines, um, whether it's a solid or a broken line, and even a yellow line. So even as far as the next lane, it'll tell you if there's a yellow or a red line on that side. And the car actually reacts to those lines slightly different. If it's just a solid white line, 
it has a bit more grace. If it's a yellow or a red line, it sets off quite quickly. Um, and the steering wheel will the steering wheel will actually nudge you, you know, back into the lane. Um, there was a bit of a test that I was doing while I was driving on the highway. I didn't record that part, but um, not of course to try this at home. But letting the steering wheel go, setting cruise control, and letting the car actually drive for a time, it took a slight bit of a corner, and it kept its distance away from the car in front of me. The way that a normal person would actually do. But of course we're beeping. So it beeped all the time that it was doing it. Um, but it's in no way an autonomous car, so it's not going to be driving by itself. It even prompts you to, to grab the steering wheel again when you, when you are driving. Um, the features of Hello Amoda, turn off the AC. Got it, turning off AC. I haven't looked at the long list of all the things that you can control, but I think maybe just for uh, peace of mind, I might just add it somewhere. So the car itself, this specific model, which is the Elegance S, has also 360 camera. So when parking, to demonstrate when parking as well if i put the car into reverse you will see the camera comes on immediately if i turn the steering wheel and i'm going to reverse you can see those lines actually move to whichever way that i am turning to guide you to be able to park if i choose the 360 degree view and i want to park the car you will see it will show two graphical interfaces of where it's actually looking at the moment and if i go quite close to this wall you will see the front camera actually pricks it up quite well. And if I choose the front camera, that is how far I am from that front wall. And this is a feeling of uh, how it looks in the motor when you are driving. Living with a motor, I think it's it's it's. I think you're going to find some fun in it. Um, Cherry has definitely put together a well-rounded package trying to offer you everything under the sun into this car. It doesn't come with the longest service plan. There's a five year 70,000 kilometer service plan. The standard warranty on this car is a five year 150,000 kilometer. And I'm sure that everyone by now knows that Chedi, who is of course the owner of a motor, um, has claimed this 10 year, 1 million kilometer engine warranty. warranty. They confident about the vehicle that they're putting out in the market. And that's good to know that a manufacturer is willing to put their name and and the you know the image on the line to say this is what we stand for and we believe it's it's a good thing. Um, so a motor is I think they I think they're gonna ruffle some feathers and I think they're gonna you know disrupt the market. Um, you know do, during the filming of this and um, of course just after um, the launch of the Amoda C5 GT, which is a much more performance. Uh, um, orientated version of this car. Look, it's not going to knock a GTI socks off, but um, it has a bit more power than this car. It has a slightly different gearbox, and um, there's a few other flares, uh, you know, a bit of a body kit to make it uh, stand out a little bit more. But in essence, the overall car is going to be about the same. Um, but I'm looking forward to sharing with you what that vehicle has to offer. And I think uh, a motor in years to come will definitely you know, shine. Providing that they stay here, definitely I think they're going to be uh, coming out with a lot more that you need to look forward to. But that's for me. That's uh, what I have to say. Take it, don't take it. But I do urge you to come down to a motor, William Simpson. Test drive the motor C5 and um, speak to Blake and the sales guys over here. Come take a look. I promise you, 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 you will be surprised as to uh, what all this vehicle has to offer. And, and I promise you, I can't even touch on everything in this review. And I've already kept you here for uh, well over the 10 minute range. So until next time, enjoy and happy driving.